Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are joining me for the first time, my name is Melissa and in today's tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to achieve this beautiful bridal makeup. It is definitely achievable for someone that is going to be doing their makeup on their wedding day themselves. If they know they have a bit of a tight budget, you can definitely do this yourself. Otherwise, you could probably even give your makeup artist some tips. Mm -hmm. Anyways, if you love this look and you want to achieve it, please keep on watching. Okay, ladies, so I just started off by applying some Aquaphor on my lips. And you know this is something that I take with me to all my clients. It's a must. Um, you really want to focus on great skincare leading up to your big day. I would say a good few months in advance preparation for your skincare. That way you'll have to do less and less treatments leading up to the day. Um, just remember that however you are treating your skin is going to show up exactly like that on the day. I have already applied my uh, fund sorry my face cream and my Kiehl's eye moisturizer um, another little tip that I like to add on during um, my makeup session with my brides is using this fast response MAC eye cream it just de puffs and works on those fine lines a little bit another thing I'm going to suggest is doing a really good hydrating mask and I've got this one from summer Fridays I bought this from Muse SA. Really, this product is amazing. It's if you have a very intensely dry skin, you will notice that it may um, irritate your skin. That's what it feels like, but it's not necessarily irritating it. It's just replenishing the moisture that you have already lost. So this is a really, really intense hydration. I'm just gonna add some on the back of my hand here. So I've been playing around with this mask quite a bit. And I must say, the first day I was a little bit skeptical because I went very red on my cheeks and I might, it wasn't necessarily an allergic reaction. It was just more that um, my skin was extremely dehydrated and was in dire need of moisture so we're gonna leave that on for about 10 minutes um, and then what you want to do is not wash your face you want to actually blot it with a tissue or you can take a warm cloth and just lightly go over your face kind of just wiping the excess off but do not wash your face so basically what you want to do is just like stick a tissue on your face Pat it down and just like sort of pull it off like that and this will take off any excess <laughs> I know this looks crazy you just want to take off any excess products Uh, so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and fill our brows. My favorite brow pencil is the precisely my precisely brow pencil from Benefit Cosmetics and I use shade number four and we are just gonna now go ahead and fill in the brow. We are just now fluffing it up and out, making it look as natural as possible. Okay, now that we are done filling in the brows, we are going to carve them out slightly. Again, this is a staple step that I do when filling out my brows, just to clean them up and make them look a little bit more well-maintained. And I am gonna go in with my NARS Creamy Concealer for that. I tend to use this all over the eye as well but I first start by carving so I start one eye at a time just because products set when you leave them on the skin for very long it's very hard to blend them so just start with one at a time so lightly just carving out the brows and you want to make sure that this line is not too harsh so just make sure by pulling the product down you can blend it so obviously if you're gonna maybe do your own makeup on your wedding day this is a really good guide on how to achieve a bridal look okay now we're gonna move on to the other eye so 
So I'm just going over again with my NARS Creamy Concealer. Looks like that. And this is in the shade Custard, I believe. And I'm just blending that into my eye now. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my RCMA powder. There's this baby over here. You will hear me talk a lot about this powder because overall this powder really does make your um, makeup last longer. And it's a really finely milled powder so it just sets beautifully. Now we are going to go ahead and start by using our eyeshadows. I am going to use a combination of products. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Maybelline Master Bronze Palette for transition shades. As you know guys, I like to use the two shades in the middle. Just came in a little bit closer for the sake of this specific part of the tutorial um i also just wanted to let you ladies know in case you were wondering where these clips are from that you can keep your hair back uh i bought these from Diskim. they're basic so this is the actual Diskim brand i believe and i think there's 20 pieces in here i think they were about 26 bucks um now i'm gonna go and look for a fluffy brush and this is my inglot 6ss we're going to, as per usual, use the two shades in the middle and build up a nice transition in the crease. As you guys know, I almost cannot ever do my makeup without transition, so here we are, as per usual. So I am now going to go ahead and use a different shade. I'm gonna go in with this P. Louise palette. I think this was like one of their very first palettes and for some reason, I just always go back into it. It's got basically got all your neutrals, got your transitions, and I like to use this. This for me would be a transition shade, but I use this a lot, a lot. So that one is the shade Latte, and now I'm going in with a Zoeva Luxe Soft Definer 227, and I'm just dipping my brush and dusting it off just slightly. So now I'm just gonna grab my little beautiful, I love using this mirror because it just looks so beautiful on camera. So you just wanna take a mirror and look down and try and catch a crease or create a crease that you would want for yourself. And I am focusing this color on the crease that I would want so because I don't have a very big crease here I go a little bit higher so that I can open up my eyes ever so slightly so what I'm doing now is I'm just using the same brush and I'm going into my lash line with this I'm gonna get in a little bit closer for you ladies so I'm just going into my lash line I'm using the back of the brush and I'm literally just dabbing it on. I'm not rubbing it on. And then just pulling it into the crease again. Uh, so I'm just gonna go in with a flatter brush just so that I can get really nice into the crease here. And this is a Zoeva Lux Smoky Shader 234. And I'm just going to get in there. And this technique really does help you Blend your natural lashes with the false lashes as well because I am going to be using false lashes for this look. I'm just going a little bit more intensifying this, pulling it out a little bit. That might look a little bit crazy, but we're just going to soften it lightly with our Luxe Shader, sorry, Soft Definer we used earlier. So I'm going to take another flat shader brush and I'm going to go in with a little bit more of like a warmer tone instead of being too literal. I think I'm going to go in with that tone over there. Sometimes I like to mix it between um, this one over here. Unfortunately, there is no names on this Morph um, shadow palette, but it is the Morph 350, I believe. And where you can see that there's already space, like a sort of whitish space, you're just gonna now go ahead and pull in that. 
again these colors are really just gonna make your eyes pop what I like to do is also just add a little bit of a dark brown so a nice cool undertone brown and I'm gonna pop this one right here very lightly ever so slightly this one's name is bestie I'm just going in with the same brush I used earlier and tapping it in and lightly just removing the excess and just intensifying this a little bit more So now what I'm going to do is go in with that same brown and just take a smaller brush that's really going to define your lash line. And this is the 226 Smudger from Zoeva as well. And I'm just taking that same brown that we use now and it's Bestie and I'm just like pushing this into the lash line. Now what we can do is start adding a little bit of highlight and I'm going to go in with this Whisper of Guilt, definitely my favorite highlighter of all time. Uh, this is from MAC. The full name is called Extra Dimension Skin Finish. So, and I'm just going to go in with a small brush and go ahead and add some highlight to my brow bone. So as most of you know, you'll know that I'm not a huge fan of liquid liners, but for the purpose of this makeup look and just to add again another layer of definition, we are going to go in with this Inglot, if I can line it, <laughs> this Inglot 77 AMC eyeliner gel. I would say like this is probably one of the best eyeliner gels. Basically, I'm going to just add a little bit of dura line and then I'm gonna go in with this detail liner so I'm gonna not go too much or too hectic I'm just creating a guideline here and I'm not pulling that out too much and you really want to go as thin as possible towards the inner corner Okay, so I just went ahead and finished up my eye real quick. My camera's battery had to die, obviously. I mean, a day in the life of Melissa's filming. Um, so I just went ahead and cleaned up the eyes as well and just tightened that liner up right there and just took off the very edge because I thought it was a little bit too extended. Just before I did that, I added a little bit of this Becca Ever Matte Poreless priming perfecter this for me is definitely a must-have primer if you can get this if you're overseas at a sephora please buy this it is really good it makes your makeup last all day long and i kind of just focus it towards the center of the face around these areas and this will really make your makeup last a lot longer and just fill in your pores ever so slightly. I am gonna just go in with a little bit of my soap brows because I don't wanna move my foundation around too much. Again, this is just a pure glycerine bar soap that I bought from Clix and I'm gonna go into my brows and make them a little bit fluffy. Now we are gonna go ahead and add our foundation. Now that this has set in, we're gonna add some foundation and I am really stuck between Fenty Beauty or my NARS. What I think I'm gonna do is mix in my NARS Punjab is the shade um, in the Sheer Glow Foundation. This is the one right here. Looks like that. It does come with a pump, but it is extra. I don't know why they're still doing these things these days. So I'm adding some on the back of my hand. And because I want quite a full coverage, I'm adding quite a bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix this Natural Radiant Longwear um, Nars Foundation. This is in the shade Barcelona. So just for a little bit of warmth, I'm going to add like one or two pumps into the existing foundation we have on the back of my hand. And I will say that I don't like too much of a matte finish and I feel like the long wear is a little bit too much of a matte finish that is why I'm mixing it in with the sheer glow and I'm literally just like mixing it in like that is now dot this over the face so this is gonna be a little bit on the tan side for me because I am very fair at the moment um, and then I'm gonna go in with as you know one of my favorite brushes and this is the makeup boutique range there comes quite a few brushes in this range and I 
the first layer I kind of just like to fluff it out and blend it and then you can start going ahead and applying the foundation and I'm literally dotting it on to create more of a coverage So what we're going to do is grab a beauty blender. Now what you don't want to do with this beauty blender is go in too harsh. You don't want to pick up too much product. So you just want to kind of seal in the foundation. Um, so now what we're going to do is go in with like a little bit of a technique situation that I like to do. I know this is going to seem very excessive, but again, I really can't wait to get a new one of these because I absolutely love the Aqualuminous um concealers so they come like that this one is like completely done with me um but i really love these concealers because they don't leave you looking cakey and they're quite moisturizing hydrating so i love these um this one's got more of like a pinkish undertone and then i take another one which that was the beige, this is the medium. So this has got like more of a cool tone. And then I kind of focus that here. Just go over a little bit from the, over the other one a little bit. And then last but not least, I know it sounds like a lot of work, but just remember that this is something that's really gonna last you all day. I'm gonna finally go in with my Radiant Creamy Concealer from NARS and this is in the shade Custard. You wanna add some on your chin here. If you have a prominent chin or prominent forehead, please skip this step. So now we're gonna take our smaller Makeup Boutique brush. So it's very much similar to the one I used on my face, but it's a little bit smaller. So now we're kind of just gonna blend these shades into each other. And then we are gonna last but not least highlight this under eye a little bit more and this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer. I really love this concealer. This is in the shade 230 but it's very creamy as well. So I'm just keeping this in the center here where I want like a little bit of light to bounce back and then we're gonna take a little brush and I'm using the Morph of R35 fluffy brush and just lightly working and now I'm gonna go in with my contour so Florma has come out with a really handy tool and this is a contour palette um, so you would use the lighter shade for the center of your face it's actually steps on how to apply the product at the back but I don't like the contour that's in the palette because it's got a very orange undertone I prefer to work with cool undertones for a contour so I'm gonna skip that one and the first one Floor Mars contour stick instead for that and that's this right here and I'm just gonna dot this on I don't like to draw literal lines because I hate contours that are literal so I'm blotting it in as opposed to drawing a line and then I'm taking a stippling brush and this is petite stippling one to two Zoeva and I am literally kind of flicking it dabbing it in I'm not brushing brushing back and forth just flicking and dabbing okay so that's nice and blended now I like to just kind of seal it in with my beauty blender in case I missed any lines there and then we're gonna just go around this area as well and make sure it's nice and blended into the actual hairline Okay, so the powder is also going to be a little bit of a process, but I just want to go ahead and contour my nose a little bit. Um, so I'm going to use a flat brush like this. Unfortunately, this does not have a number on it. So I'm just going to look down into my mirror and just follow this natural bone over here. Now, with the step of the, the process of the powder, I'm going to go with my RCMA that I showed you earlier. And because the RCMA is so finely milled, I'm really just going to take the lightest amount and press it in. And I'm literally pushing this in. I'm not baking with this powder. Ah, oh, I forgot it's deep. 
okay so we're not gonna go into this right now we actually need to transition why did i forget that guys so sorry let me at least we didn't like do too much powder situation because if we did it was gonna be a problem and we actually need to set our transition so i'm gonna use this floor my palette and i'm gonna use the shade number two i'm gonna probably go between two and three which is the two brown shades and we are gonna warm up the face so for me this is really important I can't believe i almost skipped this step So we're just gonna follow through everywhere all over the face with this okay i also just went ahead and um, added this shade number four towards the cheek area where i'd usually place my blush it's actually a really beautiful shade so if you just in someone that's into cream products that's actually a really beautiful color so i kind of just went over the cheeks here a bit over here and just made sure that everything is blended in beautifully and now we can go ahead and set all of this so what i'm gonna do is take my rcma so i just take my big fluffy 101 luxe face definer as a waiver brush and i kind of just get this powder there and literally cover my whole face with this so going in with the powders i usually and always do my nyx contour palette so this is a highlight and contour pro palette from nyx i for myself tend to go between these two they have more of a taupey gray undertone so this is great for contouring even if you blot your brush into this product just make sure that you're using it ever so lightly and kind of dust off the excess sometimes because this can get a very can get it <laughs> This can get to be very heavy handed. What we did with cream, we are now doing with powder. Oh, I wanted to say that I used um, a blush brush from MAC for the contour, but because it's very like tiny and very angled, I like to use this more for the contour. And this is, I believe, a 168, if I'm not mistaken. There's not even a number on here anymore. That's how much I love that brush. And then for my blush, I like to go in with this 127 Luxia Cheek, also as a waiver. And now I am going to just warm up my face. So now I'm gonna go in, what did I wanna do? Oh, I wanna definitely put my Laura in. So I'm gonna take some on the back of my blending brush. My blending brush, my beauty blender. Oh, oh. By the end of my videos, I start going haywire. So I'm just pressing this in to the under eye and then and then I'm going to add a little bit of this powder because it has like a little bit more of a pinkish tone it will kind of sort of help cancel out what's going on underneath and this is the medium mineralized skin finish so the medium has a little bit more of a pinky undertone Okay, now we can go in with our blush. I'm going in with my Fuchsia Terracotta Blush On from Forma, and you guys know I love this, very pigmented, so a little bit goes a long way. And just hitting the apples of the cheeks. And then what I'm gonna do now is go in with my highlighter. So I'm just gonna take the back of my blush, brush, and go over, and this is the Smashbox Crystallized Collection. This is optimistic beautiful very beautiful pearlescent shade so now i'm just going in with a different brush this is a luxe highlight also zoeva and almost like in a c shape around the eye so what i also like to do is kind of create a blush out of my master bronze palette and i'm just kind of going where i finished off with the pink blush earlier and connecting everything now now we're gonna go in with some lashes guys i never use lashes so today i'm gonna do it for the purpose of this video and this is kiss lashes i bought these at clicks what we do want to do now is kind of just take the um, powder off away from under the eye uh, one step that I just want to add to the under eye is just using the brushes that you used earlier for your orange, more orange tones. Just kind of go underneath the eye. And 
also adding a little bit of a highlight towards the center of the eye. So now that we've worked in all our powder products, we can go ahead and go in with our lashes. And I am going to use my Duo Lash Glue. This is probably my favorite glue. It stinks. It really does not smell great, but it really works well. We are going to also now measure the lashes. But can you see they kind of like hang off and make my eye look a little bit droopy. So I'm going to probably take off with just a tiny smidge at the end. That's looking a lot better in terms of width. Um, so now I'm just going to take the back of any brush, just I'm using this random spoolie and popping some glue on the back. And you want to like wait, I'd say like I count to 60 and make sure the glue is quite tacky. You don't want the glue to be runny. And you are going to pop these, start with either the center or the sides, but I like to sort of place the center first and and then place the rest down okay we're gonna do the same on uh, this side I'm going in now with my extended play lash mascara from Mac and I'm just going to basically gel all of this together so now you guys know I like to go in with a combo so I'm hitting you with my combo and this is the Mac spice pencil I know sometimes for the ceremony it's not really nice to have a glossy lip because you need to kiss your man. So what you want to do is wear a matte finish for the ceremony and then you can gloss it up for the reception. Get a nice pout on there and then I am going to go in with stone because you guys know I like to kind of contour my lips so I'm using stone lip pencil for that. And now I'm going to go in with my beach casual favorite NYX matte velvet lipstick. Beautiful, beautiful nude. So you could definitely rock it like this at the altar and then add a little pop of glass which I'm gonna do because you know I love my glass and then of course I'm gonna go in with another and this is the Fenty Beauty what's what's your number but now because you know your girl is extra I'm gonna add a topper and this is the Katie dose of colors Daisy Katie collab i got this from makeup boutique they were kind enough to give me this i was so happy when i saw this and this is over the top i'm gonna set this with my smashbox the hood witch photo finish love ritual wow that's a mouthful it's a primer water it's jasmine and rose it smells delicious so i'm just gonna go ahead and oh breathe it in this is really good for brides on the day because they need to calm down. So the final step in this process is that if you know your body is going to be sticking out, whether it's your arms, your decolletage, you want to add a little bit of a sparkle. And I'm using this Jennifer Lopez Living the Highlight Illuminator. This is for your face, body and your eyes. I like to dust some of this onto my body with a big fluffy brush. And there you have it, ladies a beautiful gorgeous feminine i feel still very user friendly given the time frame i know it seemed very long but this is definitely going to help you achieve a beautiful feminine look for your big day i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please give it a thumbs up comment below what you'd like to see from me in the future or if you have any questions regarding this tutorial sending you love and light and don't forget to subscribe Mwah. see ya Can't tell. i i like i i i i <laughs> layers you want to remain layers you want to always put layer layers oh what is happening? I'll move it a little bit around a little. This photo finish smashed.